Well, the decision to shoot on VHS came initially from the fact that we had uh, last done a short. Um, Cassandra had directed a short called Wire Boy, and we ended up filming that on VHS because it took place in a dark and grimy world. And um, we really liked the aesthetic, and um, Elliot was very much kind of an unofficial sequel to Wire Boy. So that was the first reason why it sort of felt natural to continue um, shooting on VHS. But also, um, it's just a very good, gritty aesthetic for the world that Elliot lives in. And um, the decision was in no way nostalgic. There's a lot of people who have been asking or suggesting that in some way it's a throwback to the 80s and that's just simply not true. I had no interest whatsoever in going back in time. I'm not a nostalgic person. So um, really it, it, it was a way to um, enhance the production um, since it was a very low budget movie. If we had shot it in HD or 4K or any higher resolution you would have seen everything and harder to immerse yourself into the world of Elliot. So really, it's somewhat of a production element. And, you know, uh, I, I do feel that it fit the story perfectly. The reason that the movie is called Elliot is because there were orb weaver spiders that were growing bigger and bigger in our backyard, and some would die off and others would live, and the few that would live we would give names to. And we named this one Elliot. And um, from there, you know, I had read something about how orb weavers apparently, you know, eat their webs uh, every night and then rebuild them. And I really don't know if that's true, but um, I personally deal with uh, OCD problems, and that seemed very kind of OCD to me. And you know, from there it kind of took off in a different direction of like exploring mental illness and then also just human behavior on social media and just how different people are on social media as opposed to actual reality. So, um, but the spider elements continued on into the production design. Um, <clears throat> Elliot's costume is uh, inspired by an orb weaver, um, from his eye pattern to the, um, the way the markings on his suit, they're all from an orb weaver. And some of the other characters have, you know, like, um, markings of a wolf spider and, uh, goliath tarantulas. And really, that's kind of how spiders came into play with, uh, Elliot and you know, just some of the costume design and a little bit of the concept behind the film. Well, the budget for Elliot was around $7,500, and most of which went to space rentals. An artist collective called Merchants of Reality rented us um, a studio to build the sets in, and then we would have shared use of like some other gallery space, which is where we would shoot on shooting days. And um, the rest of the money went to materials, and it was a lot of latex, latex 74 and liquid latex, and then a lot of found objects, <clears throat> and um, most of the sets were built out of cardboard, actually orchid boxes, that were just uh, screwed into these uh, three foot by eight foot uh, one by twos, so they were just our scenery flats, and um, there's just lots of low budget production elements. Like we used a lot of gap filler, we used, you know, a lot of spray paint, tons of spray paint, and um, you know, after a while, those costs add up. All your fog juice and paints and all these other things, and we shot it over the course of three and a half years, and um, we would have to shoot and then save up money again and um, some of the money came from an Indiegogo campaign we were able to raise just shy of fifteen hundred dollars but the rest of it we had to kind of raise ourselves and um, so that took time and um, you know it would take at least a month to build all the sets and then shoot them very quickly 
So it went about as fast as it could, and we did as much as we could with you know, a rather modest and small budget.